6 ways to switch on hormones that burn fat In order for our body to function properly, many different hormones must be released. Some of these hormones make us feel hungry, while some other may give a feeling of fullness. Hormones are also effective in storing fats in your body. If you want to lose weight, the best way is to increase the functioning of right hormones while reducing the release of others which are not needed at the moment. Here are six effective ways to release hormones that help you burn fat. 1. Fasting Hormone When it is time to eat, the hormone called ghrelin sends a signal to your brain. When you reduce the amount of calories in your meals, ghrelin hormone is produced more. Therefore, even in people who have been in a low-calorie diet for a year, ghrelin level may still be high. These diets may not work in the long run because our bodies have difficulty in getting adapted to them. The most effective way to reduce ghrelin level is to do high-intense cardio training. Exercises such as running, swimming and weight training accelerate your heart rhythm. When the heart rhythm rises to a certain level, the body will release less ghrelin hormone. With a small test, you can understand whether your heart is at a sufficient level. After your workout, if you breathe deeply and speak but cannot sing, this means that your heart has reached to the right rhythm. 2. Satiety Hormone There is a hormone in our body that controls how many calories we eat. This hormone is leptin and produced by fat cells. The more fat cells we carry, the more leptin is produced. Under normal conditions, the desire to eat decreases with increased level of leptin hormone. However, in time, leptin resistance develops in the body and the brain cannot read the stop eating signal sent by the leptin hormone. The simplest solution is to eat foods containing high antioxidants. Antioxidant foods increase sensitivity to leptin in your body. You can get lots of antioxidants from many different foods. Weight loss also increases leptin sensitivity. 3. Sugar Binding Hormone The hormone that balances blood sugar and helps us to recover after exercise is called insulin. Insulin has a key importance to keep our bodies healthy. When we eat foods rich in carbohydrates, our bodies release insulin. The sum of carbohydrates and insulin in our bodies determines our blood sugar level. Blood sugar level deeply affects our mood. Glucose meets the energy needs of our bodies. Excess glucose is stored as fat. Eat foods with low glycemic index, such as vegetables, fruits and cereals, which will meet your daily carbohydrate need. The lower the glycemic index of food, the slower the glucose is distributed in your body, and much less of glucose becomes fat. Instead of doing a strict diet, you can eat foods with low glycemic index. For example, you can prefer brown rice to white rice. 4. Fat-Burning Hormone Adiponectin, also known as fat-burning hormone, increases the body's insulin sensitivity and helps to burn more fat into energy. Like leptin, adiponectin is a hormone produced by fat cells that facilitates fat burning. The only difference between them is that as you gain weight, your leptin level increases while adiponectin decreases. To increase adiponectin level, you can Be active during the day Eat foods containing monounsaturated fats, such as fish, olive oil, avocado, and nuts. Eat carbohydrates with low glycemic index, especially in the evening. 5. Fat-breaking hormone The glucagon hormone is responsible for converting the stored fats into energy. In a sense, it is the exact opposite of insulin. Having more glucagon in your body will help you become thinner. The best way to increase glucagon levels in the body is by eating foods that are high in protein but low in carbs. There are many food sources like meat, tofu, nuts and fish that meet this requirement. 6. Appetite Decreasing Hormone When we feel intense emotions like anger or fear, our body will produce adrenaline, also known as the fight-or-flight hormone. Adrenaline keeps the body fast and strong. In the meantime, the stored fat cells are used for energy. When the body is in this fast-paced state, the appetite is considerably low. All sports involved in challenge, risk and excitement trigger adrenaline production. To safely increase your adrenaline level, you can do HIIT workouts, 
which means High Intense Intermittent Training. HIIT is a short but intense workout. In this particular workout, sports such as walking, running and cycling are preferred to increase endurance. This half-hour workout routine can be performed by exercising vigorously for 8 to 10 seconds and then rest. You can program your hormones to burn fat by following these useful tips.